Alright, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a game between Don Regu and Liquid Clam here on Zen. Now, these two guys, I don't think I've ever played against each other in such a, a beautiful match where you really have the the, 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 the old blood, the, the guys that have been around for so long, the Dong Regu, who played in MLGs in 2010, 2011 against Clem, who, uh, well, I don't want to say barely was born at that point, but was probably around 8 or 7 at that point. I think Clem was born in 2002, okay, so it m must have been 10, 10 or 9 when DRG won his first tournament. Um, <laughs> which is crazy to think about, and right now they're playing against each other. You know, the worst part is that Clem might actually be the favorite. Um, as, as Dong Regu is really, really good, but Clem has been on an absolute tear lately in his TVZ. So I'm very curious to see how this is going to pan out in this game on Zen, which is a uh, it's an interesting map. You know, you have this weird area here behind that main base or next to the main base, really, where you can put some tanks. You have a, a fort base, which is rather easily attackable by Terrans. Uh, they recently introduced a little bit of a choke there, which makes it harder for Zerg to defend, harder to get those big surrounds out or this, these big baneling flanks coming out. And we see just a standard Reaper expand here by Clam with an SCV scout, making sure that he's not being cheesed by Dong Regu. And we see uh, Dong Regu just playing safe. Just with, the, with that hatchery first, using his first two overlords to scout any possible barrack location that he can think of. And so far it's looking pretty standard. So far it's looking pretty standard. Let's see what Clem will decide to do. As usually the Terran player is the first one to make some major decisions in the game. Are we going to be seeing some 6 Hellion Liberator, some 6 Hellion Viking? I think these are the preferred builds here for Clem. As he puts his SCV on the third base location to try and block any kind of expand here. For Dong Regu, who's walking into a little bit of a supply block. Uh, the old man is getting slow, that's what Clem must be thinking. Uh, really quite a bad supply block, honestly. That's not very common at all. Two larvae just idling there for nothing. Of course, it's not the biggest of deal, it's just not a great start to the game if you want to win. Which I can only assume he would like to. Six links were produced here. So we have uh, the SUV now heading home. Overlord getting in position to scout, this Overlord mainly in position to see if any Hellions will come through. So the command center is about to finish off and the Queen in unison with the Lynx uh, will be able to push this Reaper away. Clem still trying to dive on top of that drone but will definitely not work. So we see uh, the first two Hellions in production right now and now it's kind of interesting. Okay, we already know that he took a second gas obviously so most likely to me this looks a lot like a Banshee build. Um, this could be Banshee, this could still be Battlecruiser as well in theory. Um, but I don't think I've seen Clem do that an awful lot. So I wouldn't be surprised to see Banshee here. Reaper tries to dive. Pisses back off. Here comes the swap. Does Dong Regu try to scout with this Overlord? This Overlord is going to be vital into spotting what's coming. Is Clem in position? No, he's not. Not quite in position, so Banshee will get spotted here by Dong Regu. Will Clem be able to deny this Overlord at least? At least get a kill on an Overlord, I'm not too sure about that. Hellions, I think, managed to kill a creep tumor there? No, they didn't. We have a Reaper uh, at 2 HP here. Overlord will go down. We have some extra cars on the way, which means we'll be going up to 6 cars. And at that point, Clem might actually try to start doing some damage with them. I mean, he's already trying, but obviously it seems rather unrealistic. This map's also very difficult, of course, because like Dong Regu just did, you can block off this second entrance, meaning the queens can be in one location. This has two advantages. One, makes run by the harder, and two, makes creep spread really easy for him, because he only needs to focus on one location. At all times, does he know where the Hellions are? Um, I still would have loved to see an active tumor just here, trying to go down that ramp. Even though this area isn't the most important to have creep, it's still nice to have a little bit of it. Imagine you ever get this position sieged. The clam just uh, having a single shot at the evo chamber just to annoy. I mean, he knows he can't do very much. So we see car production stopping after six. First spore, of course, is in position one. Drone does go down. Good micro by clam. Takes a single hit to the face from the spore. 
and a 30c has started here double ebay as well on the way together with this three drag so we're going into a very standard build here where we uh well, we will be seeing some tanks being added right now we will be seeing some tanks added to this um to this composition here for Clamet. tank is really the safe play people always ask hey why don't you just straight go oh hold that thought as we have two benches actually moving forward we'll be able to clear at least one queen second queen will go down as well so there's no transfuse available this is gonna cost big money here for drg losing three queens We're losing a bunch of the links as well even though that trade against the hellions doesn't seem to be too bad in the end um apparently there was two spores so he just managed to walk one spore i guess this was the spore from the natural no he just had a random spore it's the moving spore this is the best friend the moving spore it's a guy that shows up when all the other friends say they're too busy on a Saturday. You can check their Instagram story and they're all out having drinks together. Which they forgot to invite you for, by the way. All you ask them is to, to help you put some wallpaper on your wall. Those are not real friends. But this guy is the moving spore. He's your real friend. He shows up without asking. He brings cookies. What a guy. Alright. Um, so yeah, what was I before I started talking about this stupid spore? I had a really interesting thought. All right, the reason why you get these tanks is for safety. So against Hydra pain and against uh, Roach pain or just against Roaches in general, you really want tanks. And your position will kind of suck if you don't have tanks. So if you want to play it safe, you get tanks. But if you want to gamble and you think, hey, my opponent's either playing Ling Bane Muda or they're playing just pure Ling Bane, Mines with fast drilling claws is a lot better. Um, so this time we see Clam playing it safe and we'll be going for tanks and he is facing Muralis. So he much rather would have had faster mines. Sadly not the case here. We have a tank. Another tank on the way. I think this might be uh, the final one once he realizes, hey, we're not really seeing anything. Second factory is on the way as well. So definitely could be the case here. We have Clam stimming forward trying to snipe a bane but not confident enough there in his target fire or not confident enough in the TPU dps of the marines that he would be able to get all three of them single bench is still trying to deny some creep just the beauty of the bench is even later on in the game they're really good at denying creep in certain areas you see just a rotation to where he believed the creep the next creep tumor might spawn just uh something for dong regu to think about next time he tries to spread creep. here we go drilling claws being researched uh, first mine should be on the way soon as well uh, Good pickup here Mutas have been shown I think the Mutas have been shown No, Clem did not see them Clem did not see them He just boosted back already He's going to be losing both of these medevacs He built a 4cc Is there turrets ready? No, there's not Clem needs to be a little bit careful now Because he lost a lot of momentum right there In those 5 to 10 seconds Where he wasn't aware that those Mutas were there Oh, oh, oh Puts a couple of marines in the main base, making sure the turrets will finish up. 2-2 two -two is on the way here. This is the one thing that Dongregu kind of is lacking. Is the 2-2 two -two upgrades. He's getting... Wait, what is this? Is this a new evo? Did he lose an evo chamber? He has 1-1 one -one already, so... Unless he did those separately. I hadn't been paying attention to that, honestly. We see uh, a Thor coming out here as well, and Clam realizing he needs to play a little more passive after that that failed attack will uh, be going into fours will be going into extra upgrades of 4 cc and um, probably will add a barrack or two as well after this he's on double factory however so maybe he'll just leave it like this double factory five rack single starboard is probably good enough for production for now until that fourth base really gets going We have 69 workers, two more on the way. So we have the Zergling over here, yes, two barracks, three barracks being added. So going up to eight racks, double factory, once that fort base gets established. Now we are seeing no hive yet here for Dongregu, which means Dongregu wants to be fighting now. This is peak Dongregu at the moment. He's not gonna get stronger than this. He's gonna bust his depot, he's gonna run in. There's a lot of marines here. Will Clem be paying attention? He's paying good attention. There's some good splits here. There's some good splits. Halbert being more a lot of these SCVs in the red right now, but not actually getting the big hit on the SCVs that he probably would have wanted. This was an okay defense here for Clem. Uh, 
Is he ready on the forward base for Muralisk? He is ready on the forward base for Muralisk. There is mines tactically spread across the map. Dongregu making sure maximum splash efficiency is being used here. Oh. Targets down these mines. Not in time. One mine does get a hit off. Good micro there by Clem. Attempting to pull back that mine. I think Clem might be a little bit overly aggressive here. I'd love to see a run by here from Dong Rei Gu. Instead, is going to go for a flank. How many mines is there in this army? I mean, there's one, there's two, all behind. There's not a lot of creep, but that is a scary position. Oh, Dong Rei Gu managed to, to get that run by in. Actually, was set up as a run by single mine. Gets pretty poor splash, only gets two links. Marines coming back home. We'll be able to clean up these links. This was a. It looks like such a potentially good run by, but. In the end, only killing four SUVs, losing a lot of links. Giving Clem a little bit of that momentum back as well. Clem still on the edge of creep. I'm not quite sure why he's so confident in this position. It feels like there's not much he can achieve here for now. Except just deny the creep. And it seems scary for him to be here as well. I think Dong Rei Gu is slightly overestimating... Was slightly overestimating this position of Clem. And even now, I mean... There's a lot of units in the main. How many mines is there still with this army? Okay, three more join now. And the more mines get into a position like this, the better it becomes for the Terran. Because it just becomes harder and harder to push in. Here comes Dong Rei Gu, who also did a successful run by killing nine SEVs. Not getting the planetary, though. Mines are burrowing. Don't get the greatest hits. And yeah, Dong Rei Gu just kind of cleans up. I feel like this would have been even easier if he would have done it faster. We have a single drop here for Clem, trying to take out this fifth base. Of Dong Regu scan here, making sure there's no outside bases here. Fifth base moving over for Clem, who is reproducing SCVs at this point, repaired his planetary to full health once again. Random mines on the map, might be able to get something done. Oh, this could be big hits. This could be big hits. These were pretty big hits. These were very, very significant hits. Not having an overseer there is such a huge error. Two overseers are morphing now. There is overlord speed, so they can get there quickly. I Dong Regu just not really uh, going for it for now. So four mines do end up surviving. All these random mines splattered across the map, basically. We have a singular mine drop, not even being able to do anything here. But it feels like Clem is getting back into this game. A hundred workers for Dong Regu. A hundred workers indeed. That is quite beautiful. Big income here, 3.8k, probably uh, slightly oversaturated somewhere now. Yeah, okay, slight oversaturation on two of the bases. I guess we have some workers not mining yet that will be going here. Yes, that is correct. These guys, because we should be around 4k, I think, with 100 workers, uh, especially if you only have eight gases. Clem's army looking more and more scary. The more mines are being added in. There's no ultras out yet. Banes are moving forward. We see some mine splits. It's not the first time I see it, but it's not that common really. Big jump on top of this planet area. There's, I just don't see this work, honestly. I just don't see this work. Yeah, big army was ready as well. Extra turrets being built once again. I'm really quick at that kind of stuff. Who <laughs> forgets the micro here for a second, I think. Just caught the tail end of that bailing splash. Tor should probably be picked up to fly back home. This is uh, looking a little bit nasty here. There's still some mines being pushed forward at this point. Clem without any medevacs here. This seems to be uh, relatively ballsy by him. I mean, if he stims now, all these marines are just going to get absolutely splattered. No. Clem's, Clem's micro is good enough. Together with the mine, we'll be able to take out this base. Mediocre mine hit here. Do we have any counter aggression? Or any outside aggression here for Clem? No, Clem kind of losing this fight. Taking the base. Also took out 11 workers here with a triple mine drop at the same time. So Clem is really in a lot of locations at the same time. Don't break who actually rebuilding those drones. Like, you know what? 84 drones sounds nice, but. You know. You know what sounds nicer is 92. Uh, first two ultras on the way as well as this upgrade, which I'm still not sure what it does, but anabolic synthesis probably means they'll get faster off creep. 
So we have a six space going down for Clem and this is going Oh my god, these random mines. Two banes will roll in though. And we'll catch uh, a portion of the SCVs. I think just one actually. In theory is a portion too. In theory is a portion. Oh. Explodes. Do we have any overshares? No. I feel like the anticipation on these mines by Dong Regu is pretty poor because every time he gets randomly hit, it's like, oh crap, I don't have overshares. He should, of course, already be having these overshares. Oh my god, Clem getting destroyed over here. Completely getting owned by not paying attention. Here comes an Ultra, here comes a lot of Banes. Good target fire with the planetary, holy crap. This could have done a lot more. Still got 13 SCVs. Is this going to be able to get it? Oh, that would be such a huge loss here for Clan. Torigu knows that if he just right clicks those SCVs, maybe he'll be able to do it. Oh my god, this was very, very important because this base, just this base with these two mules, these three mules now, is going to be so important for Clan to keep. Because otherwise, he's going to go down to five base again. That's not what you want against a Zerg. Who is on seven bases at the moment? Bane is rolling forward. Clem's army is not in time. He is going to be losing this base, and that is really, really painful. There's still an orbital there, but I don't think that is quite enough. 26 workers have gone down somewhere on the other side as well. I have no clue where. It's so difficult to keep track of Clem. Even if you have full vision, he's just dropping all the time, and all of a sudden he's ahead in supply again. I have no clue how it even happens. Up 20 supply. Lots of marauders still in this army. Mine count up to 14. A lot of them, once again, randomly splattered around the map, making sure these, these Muraliseras, these Ling Bane run by, don't do as much. But I wouldn't mind seeing a couple of mines with this army as well. So far, we have six or seven. This mine could be used as well. I count about, yeah, six mines here. Is there more on the way? No, there's not more on the way. I mean, this area is void, right? This this area is gone. This base is dead. There's no way in hell Dong Regu holds this. He's gonna try off creep, but I don't see this work really. He's down in supply. He's even in upgrades, but he's fighting off creep into a siege of mine position. Um, this is going to be a cleanup here for Clem. He says thank you very much for the music, but I think I'm gonna be fine for now. A couple of decent splits coming out of Clam. Is the reinforcements coming? Reinforcements are over here. Actually, Dong Regu managing to push back uh, relatively far here. I'm surprised. Medevac count dwindling as well. More mines getting hits on these overseers. Here come the real reinforcements. Here come the real reinforcements. More marines, but what is the Medevac count? That three Medevacs right now. Do we have any more Medevacs in production? Does not seem like it. So magically, Dongregu managing to save that base down here, which is, it is an important base. It is an important, every base right now for Dongregu is important. We have decent mine hits coming down. Clem completely fighting all creep here. Once again, that medevac count is getting so low. Where are all the units for Dongregu still at 150 supply? A lot of that in Muralisk, of course, plus three attack on the way. Two more ultras being built as well. We have an extra CC being built here for Clem in this base. The reason why Clem is continuously attacking through that bottom side is the moment he tries to do something at the top side is he's going to lose all the SCVs over here as that's not a planetary currently. So through pressure, um, the plan of Clem really is to, to attack that bottom side to make sure that that bottom base remains safe. We have three mines moving in, one turret trying to put in some work, command center gets cancelled, but meanwhile Clem is doing pretty decent work over here as well. Without the Muralisk, um, these Marauders are, are, are going kind of hard, I mean if the Muras come back I think they can just clean this up. Mines will be able to take down this Ultralisk most likely, there we go. Muralisk come back, wait, what the hell happened to all the Muralisk? I pay attention to one fight, I come back to the other, and all the Mutalisks are gone. Probably something to do with the mines over there, and that one turret on 8 kills. 0 kills on that mine, so I'm gonna guess that that turret is uh, the MVP of this game so far. We have a couple of links going into the space, and this is good, because once again, there's no planetary, there's no defense here. These links have adrenal glands. Yes, they have 3-3 upgrades as well, so SFEs will be doing negative damage towards them. Big Ling run. Oh my god, beautiful rally into the choke here by Clam. You legend. Oh, there's 
Oh, mines all getting triggered on top of the army of Clem Ultralis moving forward. Bane's rolling as well. We'll be able to get a lot of the SCVs here. Meanwhile, Clem somehow managing to drop on the top side of the map. Eight Marines doing a lot of damage. Get a base, but get no workers. The thing is, there seems to be plenty of workers, more a lack of bases. It's the, the opposite here for Clem, who has plenty of bases, but not enough workers. 52 workers. I guess he also could use a base up here. As I say that, Orbital flies to the top side of the map. Now, the thing here is that he now has two vulnerable bases in opposite locations, meaning that Ling Run buys are going to be very, very powerful here. Big scan by Clem here on the bottom side. Here we go, first Ling Run by immediately being sent out. We'll be going for some of these SCVs. At the same time we have a Ling Run by, I feel like he could just move forward here, send some units there, try to kill these mules. Uh, one mine with a dream. Pretty big hit. Pretty big hit indeed. All these mules will end up falling as there should be nothing here for Clem to defend. I think he should temporarily give up this area. Focus on that top side. Focus perhaps with drops on this on this bottom base, but if he can just deny this base and this general area, that would be pretty cool as well. We have a run by coming in towards the bottom. Clem still focusing on trying to get these bases up, so kind of going for a split army scenario right now. The obvious reason, of course, being that he has those two vulnerable bases that both need to be protected by aggression. See, once this breaks. This base also is gone, and Clem realizes that. Might want to try to pick up some of these SCVs. I wouldn't mind seeing that. Meanwhile, on the bottom side, we have a push. We have two pushes, really. If this is going to kill a lot of workers. Also going to be able to kill a base. So The nice thing about Terran is that you can just lift the base, so you might lose the SCVs, but he keeps the base alive. 60 workers against 50 right now. So we have Clem... Trying to take a, well, trying, he's taking a little bit of a supply lead here. Ultra, what, what was that? Some cannibalism right there. Just attacking the other Ultralist, if I saw correctly. Clem has enough of it, sacrifice a couple of Terran units into the, the arms of the, the merciful Zerg God. Tongrigu trying to push forward. Not quite working out so far. I feel like Dongregu is uh, gasping at straws right now. So he knows he's being outmined by Clem by a, a large margin and he wants to fight. The thing is, Clem is like, well, I think I, I'm actually mining more at this point than you, so I don't think we're gonna fight. Is this hatchery misplaced? This hatchery looks misplaced. This is a little too far away from the minerals, I think. It's always very difficult, I'm not sure, but it, it does look, something looks off. Look at that distance between the gas. Another big Ling run by in that top side of the map. Don't we go getting so much value out of the links. The, the thing is, this is kind of a death trap, right? There's no way to run out. Once you're in here, that's it. So don't we go tries to right click that command center. It's not going to work, of course. Clem can just repair it. 10 SCVs go down, 5 workers go down, 5 drones go down on the other side as well. There's still a single mine here that's uh, happily shelling away. I'd love to see a little bit of a drop here or just a run by into that top base. It is still mining with a lot of workers of course. Clem completely giving up on the plan of that bottom side for now. Just focusing on the top. Just focusing on the top side of the map. a lot of creep i wouldn't mind him trying to control this bottom this bottom area and then trying to, to just scan some creeper just trying to run by just snipe this base it's so low already clem but i think clem has different plans he realized he has a big army advantage here um, as long as he manages to clear the creep ahead of time oh, don't go being forced off creep here needs to chase at this point can't really run back as all the Banes have gone down. Is there any mines in this army? No, there's not really. And you see immediately the, 
the weakness of this army if mines aren't there, if there's no real backup. Well, I'm pushing forward though, we'll be able to snipe out two Ultralis there, which is a big dueling run by once again into this death trap. Let's see if Clem will get all of those links for practically free. I mean, four SCVs is good, but it's not quite what you want for 15 links if you're only mining 1400 resources a minute. Clem is running dry on the other bases right now. We have orbitals moving forward, a lot of scans, a lot of uh, mules available here as well. It's going to be scary to drop mules though, so close to creep. Let's see if he is ballsy enough. Perhaps Clem is like, well, it's cool and all, I'm up 60 supply, I can drop what I want. Uh, he's not incorrect. Instead, we're going to be seeing mainly scans used for now. A couple of extra mines are being produced. Marines on the bottom side of the map will be able to take out these Zerglings. No, the other way around. Zerglings will be able to take out the Marines as we have the main engagement here. This might be the final one. Right clicks the CC, too late with the lift. Clem loses an orbital command. How many orbitals do we still have? We still have an orbital in the natural base. We have a couple of units there. We have a Ling run by going into nowhere, really. I think Clem has, has had it, though. He's, he's done. He's going to be targeting down this absolutely useless hatchery. Um, that's when you know that a man is done with the game. Runs in rather than killing the mining base. Clears the hatchery that hasn't mined in the past five minutes. Big pick up here. That is a big pickup. Good mine hit there by Clem. And Dong Rei Gu is actually feeling a little bit boss here. It's like, alright, you just cleared your army. I believe I have the right to clear this top base now. Let's see what Clem thinks of that. I, I don't think Clem quite agrees with that logic. We have four banelings rolling in. That's all there's left here. Mine's burrowing. And I think this might just be it. There is really nothing left right now for Dong Rei Gu in order to fight this massive army. He managed to establish that bottom side base again. He's up 25 workers, but his army is so much weaker. This top side is going to fall at this point. Creep has disappeared, and I think Dong Rei Gu needs to accept that this base is gone. He does. He accepts this base is gone. We see a run by going in. We see another run by going in. Only 26 workers left for Clem, of course, who is extremely low in income right now, but mine's dealing handily with these uh, small ling run buys. And Dong Rei Gu is bleeding out unit after unit. 14 drones have gone down as well. Topside base. Once again in the hands of Clem. Which orbital was that? I don't actually know. I don't know. We see two investors being built or being morphed, being zerked into this game. Which is already 27 minutes long at this point. Holy crap. This guy's been going at it hard. Average APM of 600 for Dong Rei Gu against 391. Wonder how his wrists are doing doing this for 10 years. Boom. Big mine hit. And I think Clem realizes this is it. Dong Rei Gu does at least. As he GG's out and Clem takes this uh, wonderful long TVZ game. Uh, played on Zen, absolutely beautiful game by both of these guys. It felt like Clem kind of lost momentum after those early game Muras, then uh, managed to take it back in a, uh, in my eyes, absolutely beautiful way. All right, if you did enjoy that video, don't forget to subscribe. Pop. Don't forget to uh, watch more videos over here on the side. And as always, see you all next time. Bye bye.